All right, guys. Had a pretty nice day here in, in Louisville. Um, I, I just got a call on a on a outdoor unit. You know, it's, it's about 70 something today, and um, you know, I guess people are going to be firing up their units and stuff. And uh, but it's supposed to drop down, back down again. But uh, anyway, it's a, it's a, a loud noise call. So uh, on the outdoor unit, I suppose. All I heard was it was noisy. But anyway, let's get over here and check it out. Today, guys, we got a call on a uh, on a on a, a noise complaint or a funny sound on a UANL-043 JAZ three and a half ton uh, rut achiever. And guys, I installed this unit. Uh, I guess probably about four years ago, and uh, never had a lick of problems out of it. But uh, anyway, uh, the call was a noise complaint or a funny noise. So when I arrived out here, um, they had to leave, and uh, but I had them pull the thermostat down to like 68. They pulled the disconnect for me, and I told them nobody had to be home. I, I can handle it from out here. And uh, basically, when I arrived, I pushed the disconnect back in. It would fire up for briefly about a minute, and then you know it'd shoot right out again. It'd wait for about a minute, then it'd fire back up again, back out again. And that went on, you know, probably three tries, and then I pulled the disconnect. Well, the first thing I thought was I'm going to check everything electrically. So I whipped out my amp probe. I, I tested my inrush current. I tested my capacitance. I tested my low voltage, and I tested my high voltage on both sides. And uh, basically everything checked out fine. So then I went ahead and I said, well, that actually does sound to me like a, a, a pressure switch that was going out. So basically what we did, guys, is we um, actually got our I-manifold hooked up, and uh, we've got uh, our Nexus 7 ready to rock, and we're going to uh, add some refrigerant to it. It's, it looks like it's low. And when I did arrive, guys, right down here at the liquid line uh, port, I did find some oily residue there. So hopefully um, I, I can put some nylog. I will charge it up and put some nylog on it, and hopefully that will seal it up. Um, if not, when they do get back home, they, they've got me scheduled to come out for a spring maintenance anyway. I'll pull the sniffer out if we're low again, but uh, y'all will be able to see that as well. But uh, anyway, guys, like I said, we are very low on refrigerant, looks like. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to take our I-manifold, and uh, we've got our refrigerant uh, side, uh, the knob here turned out. And basically now we're going to throttle in some refrigerant. And what I love about this thing, guys, is it's got the sight glass on it where you can actually see it. So let's go ahead and put some in. Check that out, guys. Is that not the cat's pajamas? Oh, yeah. She's loving it. Yeah, it's uh, about 75 out here today. Alright, there we go. I want to be around 10, but it's going to stabilize. But let's let this thing stabilize real good. Alright guys, I believe we were just a hair low. And uh, basically, I believe it was just from that uh, leaky uh, uh, cap there. And what I'll do is I'll actually tighten up the Schrader if I, if I can. And uh, then I'll take, uh, I've got some brand new caps with the O-rings and I'll take and nylog it real good. We are going to be coming back uh, in a month or so for maintenance as soon as it really warms up out here and wash the thing out real good. But as you can see, it's pretty daggone clean. But uh, anyway, guys, our numbers are looking fantastic. Um, we're at 12.5 on our superheat, 13.4 on our subcooling. And what I love about this, guys, I haven't really seen anybody showing this that much, or I really haven't seen it yet, but uh, there's an option to profile on here. So let's go ahead and hit this drop down right here. You know, we showed you the gear, but there's actually equipment profiling on here. So let's go ahead and hit that. Now we have the option of a 13 sear R410A TXV, and that's what we have right here. So let's go ahead and hit it. Look at that, guys. I'm almost dead center of the hash mark. Is that not wonderful or what? All right, guys, I can't thank you enough for watching our videos. Um, we're really having a lot of fun with the I-Manifold. Like I said, guys, there is just so much more to come. It, it, it's mind-blowing, staggering. But, uh, guys, I can't thank you enough, and uh, I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all. And uh, I'm hoping y'all are going to come back and visit with us soon. All right, guys, we'll holler at you soon. Okay, take care.